Hey kids! Welcome back. This is M Candy's Tutorials Part 5 where I'm going to go over masking and base color. Thanks for watching! So her face is primed and uh, ready to go. Now the only thing is, is that I'm going to start with her flesh tone and because I primed her in white, I want to keep the white in her pupils so I'm actually going to mask that area. So the way that I do that is I take um, a piece of masking and I put it over her eye and then I press down around the crease. Make sure that um, all of the tape is covering all of the white that you want for her eye. And then take an X-Acto knife and just cut around. So now it's time to give this girl some color. Now I'm going to show you how to make um, a flesh tone. So I use Tamiya. This is the thinner. Um, this is what I'm going to be use, using for my airbrush. And uh, these are the two colors. I used to like, I like to use a really simple um, base color and then go from there. So I just want to open one of these up. Now make sure that you don't shake it because eventually all of the color will go to the bottom and you'll just get this thick mess. So you just want to stir it up. So then you just want to pick some of it up. And put it in here, depending on how much flesh you're going to need, but I'm going to need quite a bit because I'm also using this for my shading. It's a good amount of flesh. And between every color, you want to make sure that um, your applicator is clean. So I keep a water bath right beside. And then I clean it out like that. And now I'll add the white. Now I use a lot more white uh, to the color because I find that though um, this right here is a flesh color, it turns out way too dark once you paint it on. So I like to use a lot of white. So once again you want to stir this mixture just to get a feel for what the color might actually look like. Remember, no shaking. And I still think that's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to add some more white. So now I'm happy with the color, um, so I'm going to add an equal part of thinner. A little bit more or a little bit less than uh, half as much as just as just fine. Then you want to give it a good stir. It should be about the same consistency as milk.
and that's good. So I have my base color. Woohoo! So once again, here is my airbrush. I use an Awata Revolution BCR. Um, you'll notice that this one, um, this container holds the paint while some of them have a gravity feed and normally it's up here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but this is just the one I use. And I always keep um, a spare little uh, jug full of uh, just regular I just put um, water and a little bit of airbrush cleaner in this um, between colors so that it cleans out the airbrush and I will use that right now just to make sure my airbrush is clean before I start coloring the flesh. So I'll test this color on a piece of paper just to see if I like it. And I do! So I will keep it and continue to paint her face. Alright, so here we go. Um, you want to stay a good distance away just so you can get a lot of coverage without having some spots that are really wet and some parts that are dry. So um, Now what I do first is before I just start on her face, I kind of put it off to the side to make sure that there's no sputter. And then apply it. And you want to make sure that you've got a nice even flow from your airbrush. I don't use too much pressure right now. And there you go, base color, woohoo! So I will continue doing that to the rest of the flesh, uh, and then I'll start on shading, and then I'll work on her clothes. So stay tuned!